and that is like a place where it's like a trafica like um, here in Europe they have like a small lake if you would go somewhere like in the city it would be like a small uh, like a little small house like a little um, like a little small house where they would sell let's say like a bus tickets or something like this but here what they do is they will sell you like this a lottery they will sell you like journals newspapers and stuff like this um, they'll, they'll sell you like a phone rechargeable stuff like that um, cards all that kind of stuff that one was, was already there in 2003 I'm going to go and I'm going to ask for 2003 and it's already 100% because this is how my memory works because when I tell you something like this it's boom so this is already number five you can already write it down that's number five already identified and this one all the way 2003 for sure let's continue because when you come first first of all this is very unpleasant to do this kind of stuff you don't to tell you the truth you don't even want to think about this stuff okay because this is this is a freaking nightmare all right this is nothing pleasant it's nothing pleasant to go and think about to give your sanity on sale like this on display like this this is nothing funny about this is nothing 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 to choke about this isn't joke for the people that didn't try this stuff for the people that have in their imaginations that this is like an easy thing to do it might be like easy stuff okay in reality uh this is very unpleasant very unpleasant and very difficult stuff to do to think about and you know once you start seeing this kind of stuff thinking about it and then you start to think more and more and more and more and then you know eventually the whole picture opens about what went on you don't actually even want you understand it's so much information okay look around you like right now i see these trees and so on okay in this case you gotta go and you're gonna identify one tree which are like thousand issues you are let's say in you find yourself in an environment where you were before now you have to identify everything around you and people and businesses and everything for the last 20 years that you know so it's not one tree it's not two trees but actually one three after another and i did exactly the right thing you don't go and start to mix everything you go and you concentrate on one thing you get it done and then you concentrate on another one you get it done and so on and so forth and you in your mind in your you start to expand properly the vision around you see where you actually work who the people are and so on this is how this stuff is done whether you like it or not or you didn't get done nothing, basically. Uh, you can hear order. Hold on. The thing about it is that I identified this with the precision that the people that were here could not identify anything like this anywhere even near. Donald Trump, Donnie, a genius, so-called, self-called, proclaimed genius, had a little booklet he was writing in donnie was writing the information in his booklet while same for me your life depends on how you are going to identify this house so again what was built first in this house this second it was this third oh no 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 the owner interrupts it was this and then it was that so yeah it had four stages actually okay so I knew, uh, write down everything and you are to tell this exactly like this if you don't tell 
you did you did so that's how it is if you would bring these people these americans here you think they would know like i know now about what was where and this and that no so this is beyond any doubt a real proof five businesses hundred percent let's continue Okay, um, this is how it is. This is what the Polish spiders looks like. I like them. 2003 shop identified. 2002, 2003. Lady gave me a green light. This was one of the oldest shops. 2002, 2003. Americans, can you hear this? Sixth shop, 100%. Let's go. Um, mosquitoes are biting bad. I'm going back to the center and I'm going to continue from there. Um, your restaurant was it here already in 2005 of course it was in 2005 2004 already was there uh, with Americans we would go inside to tell you the truth I'm not really sure if I ever got anything to eat inside of this restaurant if anybody ever treated me but I remember them treating themselves very well which of course was also against the rules because where do you get the money for that kind of stuff you're not supposed to supposedly you were on a budget right guys I don't know how long she said we are here already I don't know what what did you say um, 50 years or something like this I have no idea good enough for me though 2,500 percent that's actually very very good very very good So we got seven identify 100% and if you want one neutral. Even that is not neutral. I believe. 
Your store was erected in 2005. Biwa, Biwa, it was, it was. The only thing is, gentlemen, uh, I'm going to explain what the, what the situation was. I got to tell you the whole thing. This street uh, that leads to the police station, the building owners started to raise rent in this street. And right across the street, you had a whole bunch of businesses that closed down. This situation, which I'm not really sure when exactly this happened. Maybe sometimes I would say, I estimate maybe like in 2008, uh, prompted eventually a police department from Sgirsch who was watching over this case very very cautiously they watched over this case and as much they were not capable to do anything about the other side of the street that was big time closed down they did somehow get involved with owners on this side of the street um, and some way somehow it was a big dilemma because it was a lot of people that was about to leave also on this side of the street they did not, they somehow did remain and a lady owner of this place, she is the one who works here. This is basically a lady's store. This is her store. She's not there. Could confirm that at one time she was in between. I am not sure whether the, clo the store was closed or not, um, but she had a serious thoughts about it. I remember very well when we returned back, it was like maybe even a year that we were not back, something like this. It was something like this. And when we returned back, it was like um, they gestured the way right in between. Either they did close the store for like six months or something like this and the open one or it was about to get close it was situation like this i would actually try to obtain the statement from her about what i have stated G gentleman doesn't know anything about what i stated right now uh, but this eventually this is a true it was tough uh for this whole street Eventually, police had something to do with it. They helped for the people to stay. And basically, they helped me out big time, actually, for this whole case to go on. Because these businesses, I don't know what would it exactly be if they would not... Uh, you know, the original businesses that I have seen, that I memorized, they would not keep them in this place. Eventually, I was angry really angry with the police that day when I on a May 6 when I started this stuff now I'm actually realizing that a little bit more honesty up front these people helped me out let's continue
Okay, just to, uh, to, to keep account, that's eight businesses identify. Last one was identified to 2005. 100% eight businesses. Uh, one and neutral. Nine business. Uh, just a moment. Uh, I must have said something before I enter this place. I said this is a very, very old store, your store. And I gotta make sure that I did set the year. Um, Okay, 2005. 2005, okay, I did. So the guy said that his store already is 50 years. So this is a ninth business identify 100%. Okay, don't think that these stores look like they are 50 years old. If you think these stores look like they are 50 years old, you are mistaken. These stores were renovated from the outside. The whole buildings were renovated that look like three years old, maybe. Uh, four years old. On the inside, they have also made renovations in some stores. Some of these businesses look like they are like two years old and so on. So don't think that because of stuff like this, uh, that I would get an idea that it looks like all inside of something like this and it would be, I don't know, according to the person or anything like this, I would go and do something like that. No, it doesn't work like this. I'm not sure which store it is, but I can tell you that a meat store you would not figure out. I think it was a meat store. You would not figure out how the store is. If you were to judge, let's say, what it looks like inside, you, you would not figure out any of that kind of stuff. And I am obviously specified in 2005, 2006 here. Boom. Uh, all of a sudden I change. I go from 2005 and 2006, I say, I was here back and forth, but your store, your store, I can give you the most I can give you is 40 years. I don't know which store this is. Um, I say, I did not notice your store that it would be like, you know, we were coming here since 2003. Uh, your store must be new. Maybe I can give you the most 2015 if your store was open. The lady says three years only is open. Okay, so I go from one 
from 2004 to 2005 ago 2015 and I'll identify and I will have the whole um, a very powerful proof about me knowing what I'm talking about even more so because I identify store from 2015 basically so this would be what 11 business now a hundred percent let's continue no, Thank you very much. This was completely renovated building. All these buildings were pretty much sidewalks, everything renovated. And some stores renovated on the inside completely. Of course, at the end, I'm going to post the whole audio, so the whole original audio, so you're not going to have any doubts about this stuff that I do, basically. Okay, this is the store that is a trouble of the troubles for me now, I think, what I'm heading. And I'm going to explain everything. Okay, <laughs> the store where I had it right now, this is the store that already on that MKR try I have uh, indicated it would be my suicide, this tour. How is that possible? Okay, it's possible like this. Um, when I was asked on that MKR try sometimes, sometimes like about my identifying the businesses and stuff like that too. This was the funny thing. This was the store which I think they used to sell food for the pets and it's right in the corner in a little bit I'm gonna demonstrate it now it's an alcohol store the problem is that under MK Ultra it never was the time that I would come to this store I would not have idea about this store being like an alcohol store like a Spozhevchi alcohol type of store like where you would buy a uh, few fruits and a drink, a bus, basically. I don't drink bus, I don't drink alcohol at all, I'm abstinent, but this is what I have in, uh, indicated every time I came to this store. Eventually, eventually the gentleman who owned this business, and I made yet another mistake because in the video how I have identified businesses, I have swallowed yet another Russian lie. So I'm going to identify a little bit more. I'm just going to return and I'm going to get a few more proofs about all this. The gentleman had like food store for the pets. Okay, it was like a pet store. And this business was all the business. But sometimes, I believe in 2015, probably, I estimate, they changed to another location. Uh, and for this, another location in 2017, I was suggested uh, that it is the store right across the street. Um, further from the police station and the opposite side of where I'm heading right now but that also is not true because that store where I was is also older store it's not an old store but it is older store um, and I don't think that this is the same uh, the store I am talking about I will go back and I will try to obtain the confirmation for that matter 
uh, will probably, I estimate, go sometimes to year, uh, I don't know, maybe 2010. Now, this people here I am at right now, however, they closed the store, the pet store, sometimes, I believe, probably in 2015. Now, do I know this, like, uh, that I can give the proof right now about this? No. And this went really, really, really bad for me. I was told that according to MK Ultra businesses, uh, according to MK Ultra uh, evaluations of what have you remember from the stores and stuff like this, if uh, the store, this store that I have indicated always as it was alcohol that was sold inside of this store, this store. was listed to be alcohol shop based on MK Ultra evaluation, if you believe this or not. Because it was so powerful, I indicated every time it was so powerfully that this is always an alcohol shop, alcohol they sell in there and stuff like this, like a small grocery stuff, that eventually they have made one and the police Zgersh police alone told me that it works very, very, very well for whatever reason. People are buying in that store tremendously. It's working. It's a very successful store. They're doing fine. They did also some other stuff that involved hotel like this. Um, which also, by the way, in Zgersh is doing very well. Of course, you have to have the money and stuff like this to do it. Uh, and I don't know how much this really had to do with it. Uh, alcohol store, it does. The hotel that was built, I'm going to get to it. I have posted on a new site. That hotel, however, had, when we first came here, all right, with Donald Trump, um, it was a businessman that was asking about how he would make a business hotel and so on, what to do, what he would do, what exactly he should do. Uh, and everybody knew me that I was crazy about the water, 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 water. That's all I want. And Donald Trump alone knew that a water is like a huge asset if you have a hotel uh, that it would be, they started to talk about, first if it was the water, if there is a water around, it was a talk about this. And the water was maybe like these trees that you see right there, away from the property, something like this. And sure enough, the owner did somehow manage to create some kind of artificial lake around this hotel and is doing, I understand, fantastic. It worked out very well. What year exactly was this? It must have been quite back uh, when construction of this hotel that looks like a beautiful place started, okay? So still I have to find out, I have to see that more to get an idea. Uh, I have not seen this hotel from other than from I don't actually even know where it is. It's here somewhere in this Girsh. What they did was under MK Ultra, they evaluated absolutely every option that you would use because of the situation where you're going to be lo located so far away from the city, from the job, from everything. Eventually you're going to get tired of this life and you want to get out of here. And so what is the option to do it? One of the options is basically to just go and, since you're looking for the lodging fast, to obtain lodging is to basically apply at the people who have hotels. And that's how you get the room and you help around the hotel. Uh, and the room that otherwise would not be affordable actually becomes affordable with a little money that you would get from immigration and stuff like this. This was... 
I'm not the, I'm not the first one who did this. <laughs> but I'm not gonna say I got idea from them to do this stuff. But when I was doing this stuff, I definitely reminded myself when I saw the picture of the hotel, how that hotel actually came to life. Eventually, I'm gonna have to go to that place and see it, folks. See it like this, with normal, with like with eyes. You see what exactly where you were and what they had you to do. MK Ultra. This is an MK Ultra I'm talking about, and people that police officers, psychologists, psychiatrists, they can tell you this is a real, authentic MK Ultra. Stuff I'm talking about, people can actually do if they are subject to subconscious. Uh, MK Ultra procedure, and this is really a torture in my opinion. Uh, and it's quite fascinating how I can actually enter the town of my interest uh, when I find something that would benefit me, uh, like I identifying locations of the people. Uh, this is quite fascinating to me that you drop yourself on a on a map. First, you look at the map and you start to get an idea where where was it, and then you drop the dot, and then you turn around this Google Maps, whatever, uh, you, to the street view, and you're looking around, and, and it start to the memories start to come back about the place. It's, this is fascinating, fascinating, very fascinating to me because so far. I have not made a single mistake yet in respect to this stuff. I would go exactly to the to the areas where they had me and I would point out exactly the locations where they had me and so on. This really is fascinating. Uh, let's continue with this. All right, this is an alcoholic store. Never interested in alcohol. This store changed, came to this location probably in 2015. Big mistake. In my opinion, in my head, always this store is a old store. Even bigger, bigger problem here is, even bigger problem is because part of the store where this gentleman had this food, this, this baskets, like, for the animals, this was actually a nasty, nasty, nasty store in 2003, in 2004, I got a trouble in, with the owner because I was, I was insulted, I was like super dismissive in this store. I was like, this is like, I, I would not even want to stand inside of that store because it was very no good to me. It was unappealing. It was nasty, the whole thing. But they kept bringing me back to this store, to this location. And I had to stand there and look down the floor or look something ugly over there at the wall and so on. There was none of my interest. I just wanted to get out of that store always. And that's a trouble because you don't pay attention to that. At that time, come on, I mean, would any one of you, if somebody would say shit like this to you, that you're going to have to do the stuff like this, and they did not even tell me that I'm going to have to do the stuff like this. Yeah, the worst part about this, I was not told that I'm going to have to identify these stores, like I'm telling you right now. At that time, Nobody said anything. At that time, they dragged me around like an animal. What is this? What is this? Where we were? What is this? And they were not allowed to say this because maybe probably I would escape. I'm pretty damn sure if they would say something like this, we're going to do to you, like block you in a market, torture you through psychiatry, which they have uh, indicated the case was. But I still believe that I will avoid this stuff as long as I don't get involved in any way with these people, in any kind of politic, in anything with this, um, anything to do with these people. If I'm just going to continue to look for the job, everything will be okay. 
But this is not how the things work. Donald Trump eventually left illegal son, if you like, son out of wedlock in Zgirsh. I believe he eventually is because he does have some features of Donald Trump. He does. He alone told me in 2017, we're going to get you back here and if you are not going to do this, if you are not going to, if you are not going to, uh, if you're not going to do this correctly, good luck to you. I'll pick up, I'm going to pick him up and bye-bye and that's it. This is, I'm not going to say brutal. Uh, this is beyond insane. This is a stuff that is beyond insane. Would you want to do something like this to the human being? Um, as a normal human being, you would not do this stuff like this. This is the thing. The normal human being would not go and, and have somebody destroy somebody, even a socks and stuff like that. You know that this is insane, I mean, all the way. Let's continue. Now I go and I ask the lady if this tour was already in 2004. This is a big mistake. Um, Ugh. This one here changed. Probably. In 2015, I estimate. Uh, it was, but somebody else had. The problem is that I keep repeating the stuff that I have stated to you. I mean, my idea was that this was like a little grocery shop that would sell alcohol to. Okay. I am just... In my vision is that this is still the same shop they... they you know, it looks better. And the biggest mistake you can do in MK Ultra is that you start to be too confident and you just want to get over with it fast. And this shop here, this is just something that I indicated, like I said already under MK Ultra, that this is just gonna this is gonna be a trouble. This store left the original owner. I estimate left about sometimes in 2015. Then the Russians in 2017 told me that the store across the street in the opposite direction of where I am right now, further up from the police station, uh, is his new store. Uh, that this is where he moved, but that's also not true. That store was already, I can tell you, that store also was already there in 2008, I believe. Uh, that's like a pet shop, 2010, 2008, that store was. That's something I'm going to go and I'm going to get the confirmation some other time. Something I'm not going to claim the credit for yet. This time, this, this one, however, let's say I failed. So you have one failure and you have 1100 hits and you have one if you want to call that a neutral let's continue i am determined that this is the store that this is the store this is this is this is the store Nothing can really convince me. I'm 100% that this is the store that was here. So.
this store doesn't let me sleep then as I walk back and forth you see this is this is a, such a trouble this is a, such a such a trouble when you make them when you go into it and you make a mistake like this this is like situation that can completely wreck you on every step of step of the way then it's a trouble this shop what's going on with this shop all right this shop a cutie is working in this shop whom of course i recognize immediately this is a cutie that worked in the clothing store in the center of the city i remember very well her and three other ladies were inside of that shop i just have to find out which shop exactly was that center in the city somewhere over there around the library something like this that area something like that was this cutie this beautiful girl um expressed teasing type of interest in me under mk ultra and my hormones under mk ultra always went high whenever i saw her and as I see her in this tour, so this is pretty much again the same situation, like almost the same situation as it was with that jewelry shop. This is an old employee whom I have met already in 2005, 2006. You get it. Uh, she's not old. No way, she's still very good looking. Uh, this, this is younger. The other one is older lady from the jewelry shop. The Russians, however, have orchestrated in 2017 and maybe even in 2015. I do not know. This is a small shop. This is like a shop that you can create in like, I'm going to say like, I don't know. You don't need much time to create this shop at all. See, this is the thing. One day and it's there. You know, there isn't much. You throw some clothing on it inside and hang that and you have a shop. Not a big deal to create this. In 2017, they got this very lady and they created a ghost shop on which they placed like big stickers this stickers were the stickers that eventually screw me up because the lady i have remembered but the shop was not there the shop was not there in my memory in 2005 2006 there was no shop and as i enter inside in there i'm all confused i see her whom by the way i recognized in like one second you know a good looking lady you always recognize that's one of the things uh, but i don't recognize the shop in my memory right now i was in 2004 2005 2006 i don't see her anywhere i don't even see her in 2008 2010 i don't see her anywhere 2013 i i don't picture her anywhere at all i'm confused mk ultra in 2017 however brainwash was that it was a polish individual like taller individual uh, about tall individual like i would say about 190 maybe something like this i'm 183 and this individual acted like an american he had like a beard like a little uh, like this and acted like a uh, american it was also in 2015 that they did this very same trick they did it with this individual russians not only have russians they also have polish people that assisted them 
You, they had Polish sympathizers that assisted Ruskis. If I go back in time, when it all started, when they started to meddle and started to create the problems, it was like Americans were the one that had the money and things, novelties, technology and all that stuff. But Russians were like looking for different type of sympathy with the Polish people. It was a different way they have used to manipulate Poles in order to, um, you know, cause harm. Yeah, you got to be a little bit ticked in your head anyways to go and assist people like this. Because this, this was way more than about Russia. You know, this case is about something completely different. This case is about evil. This isn't about the Russian people, Russians, that they would need your help or something like this. This is about completely other issues. And so basically causing evil to people so that you go and you you settle for this kind of stuff that you go and you assist somebody like this you gotta be a little bit ticked in your head i think but you know it's a lot of people ticked in the head and a lot of people think they do good and they don't actually know what they do and it was a lot of people also that assisted them and along the way they changed their view, they changed their mind and, you know, jumped to the other side because it was too crazy. They realized for anybody it was too crazy. Anyhow, the gentleman uh, is not inside of the store yet. But as I return in a second round, he is already inside of the store because this lady did exactly what she would told me she would do they tried they went a little bit beyond and they tried to get like you know they try to provoke you they try to obtain from you some kind of uh like anger response something like this anything so they could stop you from going forward um, in the end of this video, I'm going to tell who is inside of my room, whom exactly am I inside with, inside the room, who the Belarus guy is. I still owe the complete explanation about this gentleman. Uh, this is related to about the same type of group as I have experienced at the jewelry store related to apartment about a, a jewelry store um, the gentleman who arrive arrives in a second round um, for this particular store demanded from me he said and if you're not gonna identify this store they brainwash me like crazy about this store they brainwash me and brainwash me brainwash me uh, on what exactly am I going to have to say and do and so on and so forth. It was like, and if you're not going to identify this store, uh, it's going to be really wrong. I was inside of his apartment. He always traditionally have wear like long um, after shower like um how do you say that like a clothing like a shower clothing like a long one um i don't actually know how to proper what proper term for that is for that type of clothing in english um he would use that always and it was no different that this time inside of the store he wanted to remind me what was inside of his apartment when he was walking around with that stuff and was measuring uh, instructions on MK Ultra were you're gonna um, I'm gonna when you I'll even be there and you see this if you're not gonna uh, identify this store that we were there for so many times we went over 
he had a good American dialect, English dialect, he's a good English speaker, uh, it would be really wrong. The whole operation, however, was identified by the Zgirsh Police Department, and it became clear that his location where, for which he suggested me he was at was a false location. And it was through the police department, Zgirsh Police Department, uh, thanks to the police officers who have, I am not really sure which one that was, uh, but they identify him and sure enough have pointed me what I believe is his real location. And that is the stuff I'm going to get to as well. That is something that also I'm looking forward to that I will go uh, and try to identify his location as well like I did some other crazy stuff. So this is really, really interesting. This shop, <laughs> this shop, um, well, I can show you what basically what got me in this shop. Not yet. It didn't get me yet. Uh, you see this? You see those stickers? The street, street moda, mesco, uh, mensco, Nogia, and so on. Street 52. This is what was displayed under MK Ultra in year 2017. However, the sign that you see up there, a bow, the street moda, mensco, this big sign. That sign was not there, but on the windows that you see right there, Street 52, this and that, it was displayed. But this is the stuff that Polish police does very good job at. Just like in the malls, as I have suggested, they also kind of a patrol identify exactly what is changing, what is new, and so on. Polish police is very sharp. I can tell you, this is not. This is not just any kind of police that would just allow stuff like this to appear and disappear from the stuff like that. Police watches this stuff and they know what changes, what is new, what goes on and so on. And so um, in the second round when I come, in the second round when I come, that's the best one. The lady, what, it, what she does, you know what she does to me? She goes like this. She goes, <laughs> she gives me a business card. Because I asked her about the sign, the sign, Street 52, about the brand. I am definitely certain this Russian confusion eventually after, I don't know, I'm walking back and forth, I don't know for how long, maybe hours, something like this. And then this Russian cluster start to, starts to mix with her. Because like I said, she worked in this city already for... I remember her since 2006, if not 2005, this isn't bad enough. And you, you create cluster like this and a brainwash, and now you really have a trouble, you know. And after, right now, I don't see her in 2006, 2004 in this store. I know her, but I don't see this store. I don't see it. But after I do, like, back and forth, I go, like, for, like... I don't know how many times I go back and forth. It, the cluster mixes up with me and I come back. Eventually I come and I make a mistake and I ask her that the store was already in 2006 and so on. It's a big ass mistake. This store was there in 2015 and it was there again in 2017 when I was brought. So uh, it creates a real problem, you know. You brought back, you brought back, you brought back, you brought back, and so on. It is a trouble. Uh, it creates a big time cluster, and this is a type of stuff that I was exposed to. And you know, if you remind me this, remember the stuff I have talked about previously. Believe me, you would be angry too. You would be angry too. Uh, the only thing is that anger in this case is fatal. It's not a response. Not only that it's not a response, it's fatal. Um, so, let's continue with this. Uh, what she does is, when I come back, how they try to provoke. 
she gives me a business card and when I ask her about if uh, this about the brand and I ask her so politely she repeats exactly from MK Ultra scenario um, start to look me like weird like in a weird way and go like this and uh, touches my hand you know, touches my hand because of the stuff I have indicated before like a naughty 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 way and takes the business card from me and that's about it you know, the, I, I don't know what she said and I'm gonna get one next time or something like this under MK Ultra, however, I was told that it would be done like this in a such a way that so I would see myself as, um, you know, mentally ill in that kind of a way. This is what the Ruski recept was for this tour. So they instructed her basically to tell me. how she is going to pursue me, see me as. Uh, if you would go and you would get upset and start something like this, then you would have a big time problem. And then what you do instead is just, thank you very much, walk out as soon as you come on a public street, boom, you take a picture and then you proceed, basically. Uh, the last thing you want is any kind of incident. Uh, this is the stuff that can destroy you so fast that you have no idea. This is nothing, nothing fun about, folks. I don't know how you want to see this. I'm not sure. What is this in your eyes? Again, I walk maybe an hour, maybe even two hours. I have no idea how long I walk back and forth. I'm completely confused, unsure about this place. I recognize the lady, I can tell you right now who she is. Eventually, the next time when I go to Zgirsh, eventually, that was not really nice that she would go as far as trying to discourage me like this, but I don't know, maybe she's gonna give me, maybe she would give me a green light as per absolutely recognizing me from the past. I mean, she was one of the teasers. Uh, and at least, you know, if she would say she would give a confirmation, uh, that would really help me out. Uh, she might be one of the stops I'm going to make next time too. I don't know how you want to see this situation is. See, this is, this is the type of stuff. Um, where I should take a credit for this, I recognize the situation beyond believable, I have pointed out, um, but could I possibly prevent uh, from falling myself into this trap? I think not. I think really not. This is the trap that, that was done, you know, in a such a way that, I don't know, how do you, you know, the question here is, again, it comes to that anger issue, which, like I said, this is a stuff you don't want to get into because then it is over for you in case you ever find yourself in something similar to this. Um, why was this stuff allowed? But what the hell was not allowed here in my game, in my case, I don't know. So maybe this is a question I should not even ask myself, even that...